Here's my tennis ball. I am looking for fascia that's causing any kind of foot pain. There are five corners of the heel and I'm going to each corner and standing on that ball until I can realize that there's no pain. So right now I don't have pain there, but if I did, I would hang out for about 10 seconds until the pain went down. Now I'm going in the crack of the foot between the heel bone and the rest of the foot, because that's where a lot of pain and tight fascia hangs out. I'm directly over this ball and I can control how much pressure I put on. So if it's too painful, I just back it up and I don't put as much pressure. Do not roll. There's pretty much no point to rolling. You want to release this directly for fast results. Now I'm going to go up the arch. There's three arches in the foot. Um, I'm going to go up the outside arch always first and you're prying this metatarsal area out to make sure there's no built up tension in there. Often there is. This is often a very tight part of the foot. But if you open this first, it opens the rest of the foot very much more efficiently. Once you get up to the knuckles here of the toes, you want to start lifting these toes to strengthen and to release the bottom of the foot. You can see the fascia stretching here, the flesh stretching. Allow that, but then get these toes starting to lift and strengthening the front of your leg all the way up to your knee. And I come over to the big toe mound. Uh, it feels so good. And then go down the middle, down the middle, down the middle. This is usually the more tender area of the body. And once you get back to the heel, just come straight up the foot. Now there's a very important muscle in the leg that starts right here and it's often very tight on people, but it comes underneath the ankle and underneath the foot attaches right here. So that's another reason why that area is very tender a lot of times. But again, once you're back to the heel, you're just gonna go bare up the center of the foot. And if your foot has a habit of pronating in like that, you might start with the ball a little off of center and then gently roll towards, towards there to balance the foot. It feels pretty amazing. Sometimes it feels really painful, but that's usually only for the first time. And um, if you're finding pain, it's really important to do this so that you're rebalancing all 100 connections in the foot. Going to the corners of the heel again, getting this left foot happy. Good. And then we're going right into the crack area. This is where the plantar fascia pulls on the heel bone. And so many people have heel pain. Now the foot is only half of the equation for plantar fasciitis and heel pain and foot pain. But this is the beginning and it fixes uh, most often what's going on. If you still have problems, a lot of times it's in the calf itself for people who wear heels or have very um, strong calf muscles that have gotten stuck. The fascia has it stuck to the bone. And then the next time we meet, I will show you how to free that up. There we go, toes to the nose, toes to the nose. Oh, it feels so good. So much better.